All right, everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to work with um, field data uh, in Magnet Field and then reporting uh, the data on a, a custom report in Magnet Tools on a desktop. Magnet Field can be running, obviously, on a data collector in the field. And then once it's exported, once the data is exported, you can then should be able to import it into Magnet Tools. Um, I have these two programs running. Uh, at the same time on this computer of course just to make the video but otherwise you probably have them on separate devices so uh, in magnet field I have a job that I have about 10 points uh, located on the back of our building over here uh, these points uh, not only have actual coordinates you know north existence and elevations but they actually have uh, pictures associated with them too. In this case, there's actually two pictures. So we'll have one and two over here. And I don't know, there's a crack again, just for display purposes. You see that this is what uh, we're documenting. So, in order to actually make this work, uh, you would want to put a thumb drive or create a file that you can then download onto a desktop, which means uh, you can go into job and you can save this job, the very job that you're trying to get the report out of or work with the data uh, from. Let's go into save job. We will create a magnet field job package. Uh, the difference between a job and job package is that this one will include the pictures also. Um, so we'll go into the magnet field job package. We will call it custom report or something. Hit the green check. Make sure that it goes into the folder where you need to find it. I have a thumb drive in here. so. We'll just created it here. We will I don't know, save it in the export folder, maybe. Just hit the green check. And what it'll do is it creates this very job on my thumb drive. So if I now exit, pretend that I'm actually closing down my data collector, exiting out of there, if I look at my uh, folders, I'll find my uh, thumb drive and my export folder, which is right here. And I'll see my uh, job that I created is mm, essentially right here. And you'll see that this is a bigger job than otherwise. This is a, uh, what, about a seven megabyte file. So seven, seven megabytes is because it has all the pictures included in it. So let's just close this, open up Magnet Tools. We'll create a new job. I'll just make a new folder here. We'll just call it I don't know, report. And we will save it here. Custom. Oh, let's do this. Hit enter. Now, what we can do is we can now import the job. So we'll import what we just saved from that thumb drive. So we're going back into the thumb drive into our export folder and over here we have to select the right f format name in this case it happens to be a magnet field job file and it's a compressed file so it's this guy you should find it right here I'll hit open you'll notice that the program will recognize that it's been done in whatever state and it's actually confirming that you want to inherit the correct coordinate systems and units and geoids we'll just hit, hit OK. Now uh, we actually have some data that was imported in here. Uh, the data that you see is uh, listed the same way as you have it on your field uh, controller. Also shows you that there's notes so if you kind of double click anywhere in this field you'll see there's these photos and again they're the same photos as what you saw on the actual com computer. So you can obviously view this in on a, like a map view and when we zoom in on the actual pictures and we bring up a background map here you can see that the pictures that uh, were taken with the points are still on the back of that building but the ultimate goal over here is to make an actual custom report in order to do a custom report i'll go into report now going to report configuration we'll make a new report and we'll call it I don't know, custom report. This is a style of a report. And what we will do is we will 
build the actual items that we want. And there's this many items to actually choose from. I'll just make this window a little bigger just so that it's visible. But there's a lot of these functions uh, that you would need to actually import. But the ones that make sense are point summary. Uh, it's called the project something. So we'll actually start the project so that will tell you what the properties of the project are. Point summary. Now, this looks like it's not actually exporting what you want until uh, you go into the point summary and you hit options. And under options, what you can do is you can output your noiding, your easting, your elevation, your code. And then if you want your pictures, of course, we will find the actual pictures right here. Photo notes. So let's do that. Uh, let's do this. I like not to use the uh, original size because those pictures might be big. So let's just do a 200 by 200. This is just the size of the thumbnails that will output. But we'll hit OK. And we can just look at uh, what this, um, let's say it's a PDF. So let's just hit export or execute. And what will happen is the program will run a little report that tells you my project name is custom reporting. Uh, we have the wrong time and date over here uh, as far as time zone, but it still gives you your point number. There's your noiding, there's your easting, there's your elevation, there's your actual code that you associated with it. If there's two pictures, there's two of them in, in a row. If there's one, there's one. And you can kind of customize your report this way. So you can see that all the way uh, up until point number 109, we actually had pictures with these and you can print this out as a custom report. Now, remember, uh, because this is so highly customizable, all of these fields that you have over here can be editable. So let's say I want to make my pictures b bigger looking. I can make them like that, 300, for example. Um, I can do original size if I want to, but we'll just uh, leave this be, add some other uh, information that we might not have uh, relevant right here but uh, for now it's okay you can see you can actually choose different file formats excel doesn't work very well but word and html does but pdf seems to be the best so if i do execute again we will see a pdf report bigger thumbnails for our pictures so uh customized report is done now you can print it obviously or save it as a pdf or um whatever you choose correct but this way having a custom report uh, created in your settings next time you start the program you can just run this report quickly because it's now going to be in your options so when i hit this it just creates it without you having to generate it again so and of course you can mess with it and mess with the different fields that you can input in here so it's really up to the user to go into that configuration, report configuration, and mess with uh, different options on the left over here and build them into your actual um, report. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.